thank you and John Carpenter and Deborah Hill because if, if it wasn't for you and uh, many others making these films, there would be no Midnight Madness yeah, program. Yeah, far out. Exactly. So, I usually welcome people to Midnight Madness, but you are Midnight Madness. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Hi, it's Robert Mitchell and I'm here at the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival. I'm here for the world premiere of Richard Stanley's highly anticipated H.P. Lovecraft adaptation, The Color Out of Space. Hi. Hi, Mr. Cage. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Happy to meet you. How are you? I'm, I'm awesome. I cannot Good. Really see this movie. Yeah, I me too. Lovecraft. I haven't seen the movie either and, uh, you know, my father was a professor. And I grew up reading Edgar Allan Poe, he's a professor of literature, and I remember I got into Lovecraft, and I asked my father how high is Lovecraft in the American you know, legacy of horror, and he said extremely high, and then I remember Lovecraft and Poe's influence on Stephen King, and so it's a great legacy to, uh, to be a part of making a movie from one of Lovecraft's uh, most famous stories. That's what I love about literature and movies is the legacy, and it gets passed on from generation to generation. Right. Yeah, exactly, and, and the, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm very excited to see it, but as you know, the movie uh, has a kind of a relevant theme to it because of the effects this sort of uh, this alien energy from the meteorite is creating on the environment. And not that it's a message movie, but on the environment and the animal life. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's kind of in the zeitgeist and it's kind of relevant. How did you become Nathan? Well, what happened was uh, I was given a script. And the thing about color out of space is when H.P. Lovecraft wrote it, he described the color as a, a color from an entirely different spectrum an alien spectrum, so no one's ever seen it before. And when I heard that Richard Stanley was going to do it, I thought he was the kind of director that could cry, try and create a new experience with color. And so I thought that was the right choice. Then the SpectraVision folks brought me the script, and they knew that I loved family drama, and I also liked gothic horror, and they put the two together with this, so that's how I became Nathan. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Happy to meet you. Hello.